What we are seeking to do is to ask Primark to reinstate single sex spaces, being absolutely no doubt. It is it is beyond doubt now that their definition of women is based on gender identity. I've sat with the top team in the UK and they've confirmed it to me. We've stood in my own local Primark and they've agreed it. So if a man identifies as a woman, he will be allowed in no questions asked. Primark are well aware, as are their parent company, of the lengths that predatory men go to to access women and girls. It's happened in their changing rooms, it's happened in their stores. Um, we aren't suggesting, um, you know, we're very clear on what the evidence is and what the evidence isn't, and there's a lot of work going on. But women today across the UK have joined together in an action that started at midday to talk to um, people shopping in Primark to make people aware of exactly um, you know, what Primark's policy is. Um, and the response that we've had on social media has been fantastic. And the response that women have had uh, from the people that they've talked to has also, I think, reaffirmed our belief that we are not a minority. Um, people don't know what's going on. So um, I guess we need to take some time to reflect on that in, in, uh, in the UK. Um, what will be coming out with, again, fantastic support from WDI is that we'd like to understand what's happening in the other countries that Primark operate in. I've actually been contacted by somebody in the States today, I believe Chicago, with, um, you know, pretty much the same um you know the same set of circumstances that we're finding um in the uk so you know we're joining together 